Hey DC fans, Hector Navarro here. We're on the set of Lucifer. We're going behind the scenes to talk to the cast about the season three premiere. And what does it feel like to be back for season three? It feels great, actually. And, you know, coming back for season three is exciting because we get to tell more stories and have more fun with our characters. And I think everyone that works on this show really enjoys working on it. So to have the opportunity to come and play more yeah. is, uh, is the dream come true, really. This season, some things from her past are going to haunt her a little bit. But she's really grappling this year with being the only person that understands the whole celestial world and being a celestial insider. It's, it, there are some serious drawbacks to it. Um, and she's coping with that a little bit. But then also she finds a little bit of um, comfort in an unlikely ally, in an unlikely place. For the past two seasons, she had a relationship with Lucifer in the beginning, but it was sort of very superficial. Mm -hmm. um, but now this season, she's gonna have a little bit more of a, an intimate relationship starting with someone. Tom, can you describe the relationship between Marcus, Lucifer, and Chloe a little bit? Well, um, at first, it's a little tense. Uh, Lieutenant Marcus Pierce comes in and He's not really a nice guy at the beginning. You're kind of like, what, why is he even here? Even the first couple episodes, it's like he's just kind of a jerk. Uh, but he's got a, a larger agenda, which will slowly reveal itself throughout the season, uh, which leads to sort of like this tattoo that they gave me and stuff like that. There's like, I can't really tell you, but he's a pretty important figure in history. What is it like for you as an actor and your character to mix it up with this new guy? Um, he's got, he's got um, an interesting background. Mm -hmm. um, he's very good at his job, but more importantly for the show and, and Lucifer, he seems to catch the eye of a certain Detective Decker. When did you know that they were going to make the changes that they were gonna make about your character? Because you're coming back, but you're not mom, you're Charlotte, when did you know? Um, well, I knew um, earlier on in the season okay. that I was coming back, yeah. So I, I wasn't quite sure exactly until closer to the end of the season mm -hmm. of, of if mom was gonna be coming back or if it was gonna be Charlotte, but yeah, when I found out, I was excited. I mean, I, I do miss Mom, I will say. Mom was a really fun character to play. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really fun and challenging also to portray a brand new character that looks the same. What is going on with Amenadiel the first time we see him in season three? What's going on with him? We start out season three where he's uh, he doesn't have his powers. And so I think he's trying to figure out okay, what is going on? Because I, I, I didn't have them all of last season and then they came back and now at the beginning of this season, I think he's trying to take a different point of view, mm. uh, a different perspective as to why he doesn't have his powers and what he needs to do to have them fully come back. Yeah. Um, season three opens with her going, you know what? He's not gonna open up to me. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Who was I before Lucifer came along? What kind of detective was I? What kind of person was I? Let me get back to my roots, who I am. And then in comes a character called Lieutenant Pierce, played by Tom Welling, and he becomes maybe a love interest for Chloe. I know, because we've never seen Chloe, you know, have like a hot date or anything like that, you know, so. She's a detective, she's a mom, but we don't, we don't ever get to see that side of her. No. No fun for Chloe. Then we have a case where Lucifer claims to have been kidnapped and dropped in the desert by someone called the Sinner Man. We start exploring this character called the Sinner Man, which carries on for a few episodes. Um, but more, it's it's Chloe trying to be herself, be independent, be a really good mom and, and, and cop, and lay off the obsession of Lucifer for a hot second. And he has a great scene in, the, in that first episode, which you guys are gonna see tonight, uh, with Ella Lopez, played by yes. Amy Garcia. What was that like? Uh, She's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> She's very, very crazy. Um, I love working with that one. Yeah. Yeah. She is a lot of fun. And what you see on screen, that is really how Amy is. Um, and it's fantastic. It's fantastic. She's a joy to be around. I'm sure that uh, that, that little uh, uh, revelation makes a lot of fans real happy because yes. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. Yeah, it's great. She meets Tom Welling, you know, mm -hmm. who, as you all know, is Superman. So tell us a little bit about your relationship with this rock star for the rest of the season. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I will say, for as small as she is compared to him, mm -hmm. physically, like literally he's like five times her size, Ella stops him. <laughs> it's really sweet. She stops him? She physically stops him. Like in, I don't know if it's this episode or the next one, mm -hmm. but he tries to get away. And we're talking Superman here, guys. We're talking like... Yeah you know, one of the, we're talking Man of Steel. So Man of Steel tries to get through little Ella Lopez, and you may be Man of Steel, but you don't get through 
a Latina. <laughs> and, and she doesn't even do much. She just like steps yeah. in front of him. And so I can't wait to play that scene where he's like so mas big and I'm like, uh-uh. That's one of uh, Men of Steel's <laughs> weakness. It's one of men of, very much a lot of Men of Steel's weaknesses is Latinas. Well, la yes, Latinas is his, you know, is a lot of people's kryptonite. So, so yeah, yes. so yeah. So what I love is that we'll get to see this dynamic of even though he's this badass, he's this rock star, he's the boss, Ella like can just in her own way stop him in his tracks. And so it's a really fun scene that they get to do. So that is our special little tease of the season three premiere. Be sure to check out Lucifer in its new time slot tonight on Fox. Plus, Thursday is the beginning of New York Comic Con, so be sure to tune in for our special coverage happening all weekend long, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.